Chapter 8, Lesson 4, Volume of Prisms. You will learn how to find the volume of a rectangular prism and of a triangular prism. The volume of a three-dimensional figure is the measure of, the sp of space it occupies. It is measured in cubic units. There are three dimensions, therefore, exponent of three. Cubic means three. The volume V of a rectangular prism is the product of the length, the width, and the height. It also is the area of the base, capital B, times the height. So in other words, volume equals big B times height, or volume equals length times width times height. Generally, this is the one we will be using. So let's take a look at letter A. Find the volume of the rectangular prism. First and foremost, we need to find the base. This right here is the base. So this would be our length and the width. The height of the prism is represented by 3. Our volume formula is length times width times height. Volume equals length is 5, width is 4, height is 3. Multiply those together. 5 times 4 is 20, 20 times 3 is 60. So our volume is 60 centimeters cubed. Again, three dimensions. Length, width, and height are dimensions. It's a three-dimensional figure. Therefore, our units have an exponent of three. They're cubic. And that's it. Letter B, find the volume of the rectangular prism. Again, here's the base, which means this is our length and width. And the height of the prism is represented by three. Our formula, volume equals length times width times height. And we use a cursive L because otherwise it would look like a 1 or an I, depending on how you do it. So volume equals 9.5 times 5 times 3. Multiply those together. You get 142.5 meters cubed. Letter C. The base is down here. The base will not always be on the bottom because remember sometimes our shapes, they don't have to sit the right way. They can sit on their side. With rectangular prisms, it doesn't generally matter what you call the base, but in other prisms, it will. So here we have the length and the width and the height. Volume equals length times width times height. Volume equals 11 times 5 times 4. Volume equals, multiply those together. And yes, you should be typing these in on your calculator. Don't wait for the answer. When you multiply them together, you get 220. And our unit is inches cubed. Letter D, which lunchbox holds more food? So now we actually have to find the volume of both of these separately and compare. So we'll do A right under box A, and then we'll do B right under box B. Let's start with A. The base is at the bottom, because, so we have our length, our width, and our height. Volume equals length times width times height. Volume equals 3.75 times 7.5 times 10. Multiply those amounts together.
you get 281.25 inches cubed. Now for lunchbox B, again our length and width are on the bottom. Our height is represented by 9.5. So volume equals length times width times height. Volume equals 3.75 times 8 times 9.5. Multiply them together. You get 285 inches cubed. The question asks, which lunchbox holds more food? So all we're doing here is looking for the bigger number. So our answer is lunch box B. The volume V of a triangular prism is the area of the base, capital B, times the height. Since the base is a triangle, the area of the base is one half length times width. The volume of a prism is half the volume of its respective rectangular prism. And that should say the volume of a triangular prism. Forgot the word there. Well, it's not writing, but you get the idea. Okay. Now, I know you're probably thinking to yourself, why is it length times width times height? I thought that the area of the base was, or area of a triangle was base times height. You're right. However, when we're finding the volume, it would be confusing to write volume equals one half base times height times height. Having two different H values, I don't like using that. Instead, I just replace base and height with length and width. It's the same thing we did for rectangles. If you remember, the area of a rectangle was base times height, but when we found the volume, we changed that to length times width times height. So we are using this formula, but notice how that is the same as before, is that capital B represents the area of the base. In this case, our area of the base is a rectangle, or I'm sorry, a triangle. Find the volume of the triangular prism. The base is a triangle. Find your triangle. This is the base, okay, which means this is the length, this is the width, and this is the height. So this prism is actually on its side. So volume equals one half length times width times height. Volume equals 0 0.5 times 6 times 8 times 9. Volume equals, multiply those together. You get 216 feet. Oops, that should be cubed. Find the volume of the triangular prism. So again, triangle's the base. It doesn't matter which one you call length and width. So length and width, and that's the height of the prism. Volume equals one half length, width, height. Volume equals 0 0.5 times the length times the width, times the height. Volume equals, multiply those four numbers together. And you get 70 inches cubed.
Letter C, find the volume of the triangular prism. Here's the base, because the base is a triangle. So the length, width, the height of the prism is 6. Volume equals 1 half, length, width, height. Volume equals 0 0.5 times 7 times 3 times 6. Multiply those four numbers together. You get a volume of 63 yards cubed. Which container holds more detergent? So this time we've got a rectangular prism and we've got a triangular prism. So let's do one at a time. Let's look at the soapy suds. We've got our length, our width, and our height. So volume equals, it's a rectangular prism, so it's length times width times height. Volume equals 12 times 8 times 13. Multiply those three numbers together. You get 1,248 inches cubed. Let's take a look at this one. The base is up here. Okay. But this one, this is also a bottom base which is the same length up here. So this would be our length, our width, and the height of the prism is 9. So volume equals, it's a triangular prism, 1 half length, width, height. Volume equals 0 0.5 times 13 times 8 times 9. Multiply those four numbers together. You get 468 inches cubed. The question asks, which container holds more? So between the two, which brand holds more? Good. Soapy Suds is the answer. That's it.